I'm Kristen with the Rogers Public Library and this week for Quilt Creations we will be starting a spooky scene for our October quilling. So in your craft packet you'll have your spooky background. You'll also have two strips of purple quilling paper and I will show you how to quill a giant spider. All right, to begin, we are going to take one of our purple strips, slide it into the little slot on our quilling tool, and roll it up into a big, fat circle. But do not let it go once you have it all the way rolled up. So once we have it all the way rolled up into a big, fat circle, we're going to seal it up while it is on our quilling tool. So we want to keep this tight and just leave a little edge out so we can add some glue to that edge and then we'll seal it up by rolling that up against the rest of the roll. Once that is nice and secure, we can remove it from our quilling tool and set it aside for a moment. Next, we'll take our other purple strip and we're going to cut it in half. Then we'll take one of those halves and do the same thing that we did for our big circle. We're just gonna make a slightly smaller tight circle. This is going to be the main part of the spider's body, the abdomen and the head. Now, for the rest of our spider, we're going to take the half strip that we still have left, cut that in half, and then cut those pieces in half. Now we have four, and then we're going to cut those four pieces in half. So we will have eight. These will be our spider's legs. So we're going to take one of our eight pieces and put a little bit of glue on one end, and then stick a second piece onto it. So it's only glued right there at the top. I'm going to do that again so that we have three pieces glued together, but only at the top. And then one more time. And that makes four pieces all glued together. Now, holding it on the end where you glued them together, we're going to start shaping our spider legs. So take the first piece and fold it out in one direction and just kind of round it out. Then we're gonna round the next leg out in the same direction. So we're just kind of pinching them into little humps so that they're rounded out but with a little space in between each one. And then for the other two legs, we're gonna go the other direction. So we're gonna kind of just curl it by hand down a bit and then take the next one and kind of roll it or curl it by hand down again the other direction. And then we can just kind of play with it to adjust it until we have all four legs separated, two going in one direction and two going in the other. Then we can go ahead and put a little bit of glue on one side. And we're going to press that onto one spot on our spider abdomen. So 
and then we'll set that down. Now we'll do the same thing with our other four pieces to make the legs that go on the other side of the body. So once we have our other set of legs ready, we can add some glue to one side of it. And then we're going to grab our head piece and attach the head to that side. So then we have a head with some legs attached and an abdomen with some legs attached. Then we can add some more glue to the other side of the legs where the abdomen is attached and we'll connect all of them together. And that makes our spooky giant spider. Now we just need to add it to our spooky background. And I am gonna put mine up here, climbing around in this tree. So all we have to do is add some glue to both the abdomen and the head. And then if you'd like to add glue carefully along the legs, you can do that or you can just do the head and the abdomen. But either way, we will then flip it over so that our spooky spider can climb around in our big spooky tree in our cemetery. And then it just has to dry, but that is our first spooky quilt creation for our October quilling. And I will see you next week to add another spooky quilt creation to our scene. Bye.